Hello everybody, welcome back to the next part of Resident Evil 1 uh, HD Remake Remaster. So we're already ready here. We got the crank we still need. We're just rocking normal gun and extra ammo. And we're getting ready to go to utilize this, which we should have already had. Uh, I apologize for double gameplay because that room was uh, not completed. I don't know what happened uh, in the course of my gameplay. Uh, something with a loading of a save or something where I hadn't saved after doing it or something and it was reset to being not done. We're not going to be able to go this way, are we? Nope. Doorknob's broken. You can't pass. We're going to go a long way around. Eventually, I believe Barry fixes that. Let's make sure we're clear. Yeah. We got everything. So yeah, I apologize for having to do all that fish hook bug specimen stuff again. Of course, he's active again. Do I want to go that way or do I want to? I can't go any other way. I have to go that way. Okay. Hole. These guys take so many hits just to get down. Okay. Alright, so we want to go this way. here switch to tank controls for a bit just so I can move around a little more easier Okay, here we are. So if you're in a situation where you're not sure or you just want to make sure you're walking, uh, don't use the left thumb stick. You, if you're in the alternative controls, alternative, you can use the directional key and that will put you in tank controls so that, you know, you don't spin around, you walk backwards. Uh, but it'll make you walk instead of run because when you move forward with the thumbstick, you auto run as well. When you move forward with the directional pad, you just walk. So, trying to not disturb these birds, because they will attack you. Use it. Flips over, and look at there, we get three more. Crests are fitted. Will you take moon crest? Yes. Take Star Crest, yes. Will you take the Sun Crest, yes? Okay. Just one moment. As is usual for me, uh, I didn't set the timer, so I'm setting it at 25 minutes. Assuming we played about five. It's always like the last... It's not the last thing. The last thing is you press record, but... <laughs> you should press timer and then record. And I always forget. Mooncrest. Examine. There's an icon depicting the moon. It has two lines on the back. And you have to press it so they pop out. There are two projecting lines. 
and you want them in that uh, orientation. Oops, you got to do that for each one. A sun crest. Depicting the sun, and it has three lines. Press it. Three projecting lines. And then you got the sun, or the star. And it has a cross. Excuse me. The base is protruded in the shape of a cross. So get those all in their uh, open, expanded positions, and then you come right over here to this one. And looky there. <laughs> There's something carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? Could it be some kind of puzzle? So then you just use them. One at a time. And it flips over. A gun has been placed neatly inside. Will you take the Colt Python? Uh, yes. <laughs> There's nothing else. <laughs> okay. Colt Python. So it's probably not called, I don't remember off the top of my head, it's probably not called Colt Python because I'm using the real uh, weapons name mod. So it's like Barry's gun. Silver Serpent, Magnum. It's probably just called Magnum, I think. But it's a uh, special Silver Serpent Magnum. It's loaded with Magnum rounds. It's cool. You can see it. Kick it out, spin it. Colt Python. It's kind of old looking. I mean, look at the... Uh, kick it out here. It's a little old in there. Aged, I should say. Right there, there's a lot of wear, you know, right here. Where it fires, I guess, indicating it's definitely not new. It's been used, so. Yeah, think of Magnums are always extremely OP. They'll kill a Magnum, will, at least on easy, maybe even on normal. A Magnum will probably one-shot a uh, Crimson Head. It's like a powerful shotgun or a slightly powerful shotgun in the form of a handgun. <laughs> That's how I look at these kinds of weapons, these magnums and, and stuff. They're like a miniature version of a shotgun, basically. Okay, so this should be clear. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the cabin. Don't run. Because I don't want to carry this around at the moment. It's a weapon. Magnum's kind of like one of the weapons. It's one of the most powerful weapons you get in Resident Evil games. Aside from maybe uh, rocket launchers or something. But it's one of those weapons where it's like you don't want to use it. You, you save it forever. His ammo is pretty sparse. Uh, so you kind of want to save it for when you need it. And that's if you even have it equipped. There is a zombie out here still, probably. Yeah, he's right there. Can I get away this way? Nice. He didn't even get disturbed. I just want to go hit this uh, item box up here. It's the closest one. I can still hear him. As long as Lisa's not in here, like, rewrapping her bandages. Okay. So, we're gonna dump this. Just trying to think where I want to put it. Okay. 
try to be organized. I think I'm accomplishing that. So I still haven't saved yet, which is not good. <laughs> I can save now. I'm debating. I'm not going to. I know what's ahead. I probably will get hurt, but I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I will bring an herb just to be whatever, but I'm going to... I'm going to be hardcore, man, and uh, not save again. <laughs> See how long I can push not using an ink ribbon. There's a, an amount, um, when I play Chris, and I'm thinking 30-minute videos with Chris, doing a character I'm not familiar with and a difficulty that's harder than this one on normal. Uh, it's going to be a interesting playthrough, to say the least. Uh, you'll definitely see me get owned uh, plenty in that playthrough. But I'm debating on like, well, how many times can I am I physically going to be able to even save if I want to do like 30 minute at a time uh, videos and save at the end of every one. That's a ink ribbon a video. Um, take a sip of drink here. Knowing full well though that I don't know what it is the ratio, but less uh, the harder the difficulty, the less uh, ink ribbons you get, so the less times you get to save in the game. I just don't know what that amount is. All right, we gotta deal with this dude again. Hopefully, he's over here. Probably be a good idea to not run either. Uh, he's okay. Yeah. Oh, buddy, I wasn't wasn't even that close. Just admiring your threads, man. I wasn't going to say nothing bad about you. Well, I might have, but he tried to attack me, so I got scared. <laughs> Alright. Stupid birds. Yeah, I don't think you get shit for shooting these birds, except a hard time. You're going to have like ten of them come after you. They're not going to drop frickin' Starbucks coffee or nothing when you kill them. So they're not even worth messing with, as long as you don't disturb them or start firing at them. make progression <laughs> after figuring out why I didn't have the uh, wind crest, which I did at some point. Anyway, we're past that part. So now we're going to make our way into a new area through here, which we stepped out here before, but uh, I wanted to go back to the cabin first, and now we're finally getting through here. And I actually need to uh, reload my gun, which I haven't done. Okay. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. Maybe you don't know how to use radios, Jill. Take another sip of drink. <clears throat> so if you have headphones on right now, you can hear the little pitter-patters of little feet. <laughs> and that is a dog. But there's a couple. <coughs> I should have brought the shotgun, and I would have recommended probably you bring it. They won't just let me pass, but as long as you don't 
abruptly startle them or get super close, they won't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deal with them. Damn, is there three of them? Yeah. Some shotgun, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be dealing with this. <laughs> I may die. Which would be dumb, considering I haven't saved. <coughs> wow. You guys are angry. So, danger, that's... <clears throat> Bad. Use it. And I'm just gonna run for the moment. We'll come back here, but shit. Uh, be nice to have the shotgun if I do. Those guys uh, wrecked me. But that's what I get for, you know, bringing a handgun to a, a three-dog fight. <laughs> I should have the shotgun. So here's where we need to uh, use the crank. Can't go down here. We'll come back through here. It's just a pain in the ass. I was hoping I could deal with them as is, but of course not. So you want to use this. I think I had to get a little closer. There's a square shaped hole here. Here we go. So that sucked. It's not the end of the world, but that would have been a rougher mistake if I was playing Chris. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Let me get the crank back. And yeah, uh, Jill, uh, Jill takes more damage regardless. Uh, she gets hurt easier. Chris has got more uh, resilience to damage, so he, he doesn't take as much damage. He can take more hits, basically, uh, than Jill. Okay. See, like here, you can tell, like, obviously my movement is 60 FPS, and... Looks like the water down there is 30 or maybe 60, probably 30. And then the actual water dripping out of there is it's, it's a whole nother frame rate. It's kind of weird. It's almost like that's not an effect, it's like it's a animated flat texture. The water looks fine and everything, but that waterfall effect looks kind of bad. But it's passable. You just press the uh, A button when you uh, get in here and they just work. Blue gr herbs are growing. You don't need to use them now. I'm not going to explain either about the herbs. Obviously, you know, if you know, you know. But if you don't, uh, the greens are healing us. And uh, you'll find out what the reds and the blues does. We're still caution. Okay, I'm going to... Just go slow. Don't come after me. He's... I think he's pissed off. Come over here, buddy. I will shoot you. Usually when they fly off of there, wherever they're at. Yeah, you sons of a bitch. Look at this crap. I'm totally destroyed. I'm almost dead. As it is. <laughs> she didn't pick it up. Pick it up, Jill. I'm gonna use it fine. Just 
just gonna go this way because this is where we're supposed to go. We'll deal with them later. This is a red one. Pick it up. It's like I do realize in this game, yes, uh, if I wasn't playing this for YouTube, I would be running past all that crap. But, you know, I'm not trying to uh, ignore or uh, change... I want you to be able to see the encounters, you know? What's the point? <laughs> it's a gameplay. I'm trying to show you everything there is to see, good and bad. Um, so that's why I'm not running through these areas. Not because I don't know you can, or that you should, but because uh, I'm doing a purposefully slow-placed uh, you know, gameplay experience here. Don't even mess with these snakes, man. Just keep going. Don't stop. Dodge them if you can dodge them. Don't stop. They can poison. You don't want to be poisoned. That's a foreboding camera angle. Okay. Map. So we're in the new area now called the Residence. And we don't have a map of this place yet. But we got a huge amount of blue herbs, so... I haven't told you what the blue herbs are yet, but uh, you'll find out. A pesticide spray for flowers that appears to be empty. We can pick these up, right? Yeah. You take the blue herb. Let's just take them all, because I know we're getting ready to encounter a uh, item box, so it's not a big deal. Okay, nothing else. I think this a this game has aged well. I mean, I am using a texture mod, reshade for some color purposes, but I think overall the game's aged well. I think it's why Capcom has not decided to put this in the new RE engine that they used uh, for Resident Evil 7, 8, RE2, and RE3, RE4 remake now. I think they feel this still uh, is good quality and they don't want to completely destroy the fact that uh, this game used to be played with, you know, tank, tank controls and uh, positional shooting and not being able to move whenever you can't walk or dodge, you know. You can just turn in a circle, that's all you can do. Um, I think they don't want to uh, erase that part of this game's legacy, you know. This is how the Classic 3 played. Um, and I don't mind it, but yeah, this game is hard. <laughs> it's hard to get used to. It's hard to go from playing the for new people, new people to the series, or people that have only played the remakes, um, the new remakes. It'd be hard to go from that back to this. You see it is inferior, and I don't see it as inferior. It's a product of the time. It was necessary. Uh, go in here. Tank controls f are facilitated for the reason of the forced cam the fixed camera angles, you know. You don't know what's in front of you here until you walk into that position, but with tank controls, if something's coming or you think it is, you know, you can easily be backing away defensively, you know, getting yourself in a position, you know, to heal. It has its benefits. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a crap um, fuel. I don't think it's a crap scheme for controls, personally. So let's just I do have a red one. Probably don't need that at the moment. So I'm gonna combine the green and the red. Where's my health at? I'm fine, so throw this in. 
Man, those freaking dogs, man. They they mauled the crap out of me. Did I use all of my freaking defense items? I'm surprised. I wonder why she didn't use them. Oh, they're not equipped? No, that's equipped. And you can use daggers. I don't know why she didn't use any of those. Automatically. I'm glad she didn't, but... Um, what happens when you get grabbed by stuff you end up burning through all your defense items and you get hurt in the process and you lose ammo <laughs> you know those three dogs needed to be dealt with with the grenade launcher or the freaking uh, shotgun there's some more stuff over here i can pick up Just stun gun defense item and uh increment of three got more fuel there's nothing over there Just uh, spend some time here to sort. And yeah, freaking definitely save. I could have died back there, definitely. Those dogs, if it had been on normal and I let myself sustain that much damage, they probably could have killed me. Let's glance at what I got. See, I got so many first healing sprays. These are full heals, every single one of these. And these are mixed with reds. I think they're all reds. Mixture of green and red. Even though that looks, to me, that looks like purple and green. Or blue. Violet, purple, whatever. You're turning violet, violet. But I usually only mix green and red anyway. Which you'll find out why. And I usually just leave the blues alone. I don't generally mix two greens together unless I have to. They don't give you a full heal, I don't think, necessarily, like a spray does. You probably need three mixed green. I don't even think you can mix three. Maybe you can. But it's a waste to use greens singular by themselves or even mixing them. They're always better mixed with red, you know, which you'll find out. And mixing them with blue or the... That one doesn't really matter too much to me. And you don't want to mix blues together either, so... Put these under here. And put these back for now. We got a full tube fuel, uh, can burn two enemies. And then we just discovered this, uh, feel thing. I don't think we've depleted all of them in the mansion. I think there's one or two. Maybe only one now that um, actually has any left, but this one's going to be full, I think. Put that up here. It's kind of how I sort. Like, I put critical key items up here. Ammo, weapons, Heals, best heals, next best heals, single heals, you know, and then some items when you need them. What's at the top here? Crank. And yeah, I just kind of have the uh, ink ribbons down here, so when I need to save, I can just grab them. For a moment, trying to <laughs> think with memory. Uh, should I go in these other rooms yet? And it would just be silly and dangerous to do so because I have not saved yet. I need to quit pushing it. It's not how I play usually. I've skipped like at least two <laughs> areas where I could have uh, and should have maybe saved, but I'm trying to prolong the. Uh, I have 11 ink ribbons total right now on easy mode, so. But like I said, I am making saves every 30 minute videos. Um, I think I've played now at least uh, an hour or more without saving, which is kind of dangerous to do in this game, but we made it. I won't be that crazy uh, when I play Chris. <laughs> so we're gonna make our new save here. And we want it 
to be over that next one, so it's going to be number 11, and then this one is in... Right when it saves, you can tell where you are. Resident storeroom. You're usually always in a storeroom or a storage room. Dump our ink ribbons, which doesn't matter, because when I come back and load my save, uh, I'm still going to have them in my inventory, but just doing it anyway. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, so then we're here in the residence, starting out fresh in here. Uh, we'll get to exploring what we can in here and see what's ahead in uh, this game. So thank you for watching. Bye.